Hi folks, John here from Camp Falakwa and I wanted to share 90 seconds of nature with you today. Now it is a gorgeous fall day here at Camp Falakwa and I wanted to take advantage of the weather to come and introduce you to some of our newest neighbors, beavers. There have always been beavers in the Little Red Deer River and we see them from time to time, but this year they're actually denning just upstream from our swimming hole. So I wanted to show you some of the things they've been working on in the valley and tell you a little bit about beavers. So first things first, we have some uh, beaver chewed stumps. So you can see here, we've got a stump. This is a little spruce tree and you can see the tooth marks in it where they've chewed it off. And what they've done, they don't typically eat spruce trees. Sometimes they'll eat the inner bark if they're really hungry, but they will use them to construct things. As you know, beavers build dams. And they're unlikely to dam this river just because it has a fly higher flow rate. And I think they'd have trouble with that. Uh, but they have been fortifying a log jam in the corner. And, and I'll show you what that's about in just one second. Follow me over there. We'll go for a walk. So here we are right on the edge of the river. Um, if we look, first of all, we've got a beaver slide here where they've been skidding all of their logs down into the river. And if you look right at the bottom of the hill here, you can sort of see there's a track in the mud there. And that's because right at the bottom of the mud and underneath is a den. Beavers sometimes den in uh, banks, just like that, dirt banks. They also will build dens, uh, big wood, or well, like wood and mud constructions. Uh, and that's where they live. That's where they have their babies and that's where they hang out. Over here we see all of the work that they've been doing. So there's a big pile of willows that they have taken and jammed into a log jam there. They cut the willows way downstream, kind of in this area, and then drag them to the water and then swim them up to here and make a big pile. Now they're doing that because they eat them. Those are wintertime snacks. They're stockpiling for the winter. They're making a, a larder, I guess. Uh, beavers typically will not come out on top of the ice all winter if they can help it. Uh, these particular beavers might find it difficult because their den is currently below waterline. But when beavers build a big den, they have an underwater entrance. And so they go out from their den, fetch food, take it back to the den, and they just stay in there all winter long. That's because they're fairly susceptible to predators on land. And uh, they're very, very good swimmers. They're very safe in the water. Uh, so they have a hard time when all the water's frozen. So they try to stay under the water. If you ever see beaver tracks on top of the ice, generally that's a hungry beaver. They didn't have quite enough to eat that winter. Um, beavers are super cool. They are extremely well adapted to the water. They have webbed feet. They have ears and noses that have flaps that can close so that they don't breathe in water, get water in their ears. You know, it's not a good feeling. Um, and they also have a special membrane that closes over their eyes, kind of like swim goggles, that, so they can see underwater, it's like a second set of eyelids. Um, they also, their teeth grow in front of their lips, so they're able to chew underwater. Um, they do have to eat and chew all the time. Otherwise their teeth will keep growing and they'll grow into their bottom jaw and that's a bad news if you're a beaver. Uh, they do change the landscape a bit. You can see they're cutting down trees, they're trimming willows. Uh, when they build dams they flood areas of the landscape but that, la that tends to be a good thing on the landscape. Uh, beaver dams do a really excellent job of mitigating flooding. Uh, the clearings that they open up when they chew on trees tends to create lots of great feeding space, especially for ungulates like deer and moose and elk. Uh, so they tend to do good things for the environment. Now, if there's too many beavers, they do start to become a nuisance. They do start to make a big mess and cut down the entire forest. But we're pretty happy to have them here and interested to see the impact that they have on the valley here. So I hope you're safe. I hope you're well. And I hope you enjoyed 90 Seconds of Nature.